It is the film ends, they're carrying him off. He is a ritual to guess if you can. And I always imagine that one of them like trips on a rock and they find that more interesting and just drop Quasimodo off. And then they get mad at him again for... They're too fickle. It's just, it just... They, the, the, the emotions of the crowd changes too fast to be pretty realistic or interesting. That's the, one of the big things about this film is there's no, there's no good transition. Nowhere is this more prevalent than in the song out there, where Quasimodo sings. Like, like crap. He really, whoever did the uh, singing for Quasimodo, And you wonder why people threw a tomato at him later. Oh, is that tasteless? That might have been tasteless. Before that song, him and Frollo were singing about like, no, 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 stay in the cathedral, they will, they will rip you to shreds. Which they do. The world is cruel. The world is wicked. It's I alone whom you can trust in this whole city. I am your only friend. <laughs> And he's like, okay, I'll just stay in here. Frollo leaves. <laughs> no. I mean, he seems to be very submissive to Frollo throughout the whole film, frankly, until he kills him. But right then and there, he's just like, on a snap decision, just like, oh, no, 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 I'm going out. I'm going to just one day, just one day I'm going to be out there. And that's another problem. It's not just going to be one day, is it, Quasimodo? Let's say your little endeavor succeeds, you're going to want another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And eventually you just completely ignore Frollo and just like hide out. And then throw, someone throws a tomato at you. See the thing about Frollo is he was pretty much right about everything concerning Quasimodo, frankly. Post his murder of the mother. So he says to Quasimodo, Can stone talk? No, it can't. No, it can't. And he says to Cosmoto, stay in here. You really are safer in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is. He, he is safer in here, isn't he? The, th the overlying theme of the book and the movie is religious hypocrisy. Frollo totally exemplifies everything that people hate about religious people. Mostly in the fact that he's a hypocrite. He's a total hypocritical liar, murderer, like mass murderer thing. He is out for his own ends, but he thinks he's doing it for God. And that is one of the most dangerous types of people in the world. People who think they're doing it for God. That's touchy. That's touchy. If you, um, don't, I didn't, not pointing fingers, but <laughs> yeah, I, I stand by what I said, but I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone or any, I'm just digging a hole here. Um, you can ignore that. Frollo's dangerous. He's, he's nuts. Yeah. He, if you look at all the Ten Commandments and the Seven Deadly Sins, so this, that's like 17 bad things to not break and do overall, he pretty much breaks all of them. Murder. <laughs> Lying. Placing you and your family under house arrest until I get to the bottom of this. If what you say is true and you're innocent, then you have nothing to fear. Lust. The sun caught in her raven hair is blazing in me out of all control. Maria, you know I'm so much purer than the common, vulgar, weak, licentious crowd. Wrath. You helped her escape, but I know all Paris is burning because of you. She 
was kind to me, Master. You idiot! That wasn't kindness, it was cunning! She's a gypsy! Gypsies are not capable of real love! Think, boy, think of your mother! Sloth. Now, lunch. And then he reviews like the alphabet with Quasimodo and it's all like religious damnation terms. Shall we review your alphabet today? Oh, yes, master. I would like that very much. Very well. A. Abomination. B. Blasphemy. C. C contrition. D. Damnation. E. Eternal damnation. Good. Okay, so you are all about religious damnation. You are a fire and brimstone guy, which is so ironic. <laughs> Did he die in the molten lead, or where, where was his body? Did it just evaporate when it went into the molten lead? Poetic justice is exactly what happens to him. He said, and he, he like his last words outside of ah. A quoting of Bible verses. And he shall smite the wicked and plunge them into the fiery pit. I guess that's why they had the molten lead. Maybe like God put it there just so Frollo would fall in and it represent him going to hell. I think I may have got it. Yeah. So overall, the plot was not bad necessarily. It didn't deserve. A G rating, it deserved a PG rating, and I think if it had been produced by a different studio, it might have even veered into PG-13. But it's not like it's Coraline or the South Park movie or anything, it's just, which Coraline, you know, if you're like, and if, and if this applies to one person watching, then I will have done my job. If tonight you've rented Coraline and have now brought it home to watch with your children, and if your children are 10 and under, and you're like, we're so excited for Coraline. I'm very sorry, but you should not watch it with them until they're like 20 or something. There's nothing bad about the movie, but good God, it's disturbing. My girlfriend and I went to go see the movie. We walked out of the movie just silent. And I turned to her and said, did that disturb the hell out of you? And she's like, yep. Yeah. No. And of course, South Park is... <laughs> Hilarious. The Blame Canada film should have won Best Song, which is a stupid category anyway, which any Oscar historian worth of salt knows, but they gave it to Phil Collins for Disney, for Tarzan. Go outside the mold once in a while, don't you?